Good morning. morning. Grab a seat, please, as quickly as you can, and take your bulletin. Praise God. We see some faces back this morning that haven't been here for a while, and that's always good. Good, good, good. Greetings and salutations. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. First thing we want to remind you of in your bulletin would be our insert for our reading schedule. Um, if you're not on a schedule, try this one. This is an excellent one, excellent schedule. We, we just want to encourage you to do that. That's why they're printed for you. Use them effectively every single week. And the second thing we want to look at this morning, if you're here this morning for the very first time, we encourage you to take the connection card that you will see in the seat right in front of you and fill that out front and back to the place that you feel comfortable uh, with that. And for all of you this morning, guests included, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, we encourage you to take that card and flip it over on the back and go down to the bottom. You will for, find four lines there that you can use to met, write as much as you want to. We have cards turned in that actually fill it in completely and flip it over and put it on the front because they run out of room. But that's okay. If you have a prayer request, you write that down uh, this morning. And uh, with your offering and that uh, visitor's card and also your prayer card, just drop it in uh, the offering plate at Guest Center as you exit the building this morning. Um, we've had this pair of looks like female glasses. They're very attractive, uh, reddish frames, but somebody left them here. They have bifocals in them, so I know they're not readers but if somebody has left those here, uh, are missing a pair of glasses or can't see like you used to see, then we have the reason in my hand. <laughs> so uh, I'll take these down. You can get those after the service this morning. All right, take your bulletin. Next Sunday morning, picnic right after the service. In fact, if you notice, we're doing a time change, and we'll be sending a, uh, a phone tree message around probably Friday night or Saturday night, a reminder of the time change. We're not going to meeting, be meeting at 10 o'clock as normal. We're going to move it back to 11 o'clock. We're going to have a shortened service, kind of a fun-type service. And then um, we're going to go back and have a full plic a picnic blowout. And you're all obviously invited to that. Uh, we have a number signed up already, but if you have not signed up, uh, please, I I don't know if Linda Miller's here this morning or not, but um, she was standing outside the front door with the sign-up sheet. So avail yourself of that this morning. Men's breakfast coming up. Uh, Promised Land Quartet is at the LaVale Baptist Church tonight. Should you be interested in that? CDs, items for the Union Rescue Mission, and we just took a tote full. Uh, Audrey took a tote full. I believe it was on Friday afternoon down to the Union Rescue Mission, so start filling it back up again. And also back there is our tote for Operation Christmas Child. Saturday morning prayer time, uh, Unite Music Festival. We've been announcing this. This is coming up also this coming week, so look at that. Tickets have to be purchased in advance if you want to save a little bit of money, or you can purchase them at the door. Um, we're looking for some cornhole sets We'd like to have a cornhole competition next Sunday morning uh, along with our church picnic. And so avail yourself of that if you will and uh, if you can help us. I think we have three that are, are available, uh, so we might be okay with that. All right, prayer room schedule today and next week. Women's Bible study, tithes and offerings. I mentioned Samaritan's Purse. If you jump, jump across the page uh, the message title this morning, I Want You. This is part two, and there's points to ponder and all the way down memory verse from Matthew 23, 11. So let's stand to our feet this morning, and let's pray together, and we're going to turn this over to the worship team and uh, just be blessed this morning as we worship uh, God together. Father, 
Lord God, we come in Jesus' name this morning giving you thanks and praise for everything you have done in our lives, are presently doing in our lives, and Lord, we know in faith you're going to be doing it in our lives. Father, thank you. We love you so much. We thank you. We want you to come this morning and touch every person in this auditorium. Father, that not one person an hour and a half from now, would leave this auditorium without being touched by the Holy Spirit. And so, Father, we surrender ourselves to you. We surrender the service to you, the worship team, the message, myself. And, Father, we surrender the congregation to you, those that are gathered here this morning. And, Father, as we always do, we pray for every other church and pastor and congregation that either are meeting right now or will be meeting in just a short period of time. God, we pray for them this morning and your Holy Spirit would touch your church across this greater tri-state area. Father, we have been looking forward to and praying for revival for a number of years. Father, today may be the day that you start a revival right here. And so, God, we surrender and give to you ourselves in this service and bless the worship team. Use them mightily this morning. Use the music and the words to affect our lives. Use the message this morning to do the very same thing. And, Father, without your anointing upon us, we have nothing to offer. So anoint us this morning and let every ear hear This morning, what the Spirit is saying to the church. Lord, we bless you and thank you. If you agree with that prayer, shout amen. 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 He's fighting our battles. Let's just praise him with that confidence that this morning that he's got us in his hands, that he's sovereign. He's fighting our battles for us. hearts declare his praise for who can stop the Lord Almighty our God is the lion the lion of Judah he's roaring with power and fighting our battles and every knee will bow before him our God is the lamb the lamb sins of the world his blood breaks the chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb oh, 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 oh. so open up the gate Make way before the King of Kings. 
this morning. And God, we bring you everything this morning. I bring my surrender this morning. Whatever it is you have to lay down, just bring it to mind this morning. If it's hurt that you're hoarding, if it's a sin habit that you don't want to give up, if it's control, it's saying, God, you're sovereign, whatever it is, Lord. If it's the trial that you're walking through, saying, Lord, it's my worship going through this trial. We surrender this morning, Lord. Here I am, down on my knees again, surrendering all, surrendering. Desperate for you, desperate for you. I surrender. So within my soul, Lord, have you 
stirring in your people, Lord. God, stir something in us, Lord. God, we surrender, Lord. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus And I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom, I speak Jesus. Cause your name is power, and your name is healing, and your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through shadows burn like a fire I want to speak the name of Jesus over fear and all anxiety to every soul held captive by depression let's sing that verse again Let's declare that I just want to speak. And I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over fear and all anxiety. You gotta go. To every soul held captive by depression. I speak Jesus. 
Let's do a reality check this morning. I just want you to be honest with yourself and with God. Is there any stronghold in your life right now? Is there any stronghold in your family? Is there any fear in your life? Is there any anxiety in your life? Are you going through a problem and you don't see the outcome? You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel? Are you going through something this morning? Anything. Is it a physical sickness? Is it a disease? Is it an emotional problem? Is it a spiritual problem? Whatever it might be this morning. You, I can't do it for you. I speak the name of Jesus over my family. You've got to speak the name of Jesus over your family. Over your set of circumstances. Be honest this morning. Don't try to sweep it under the carpet and saying it's going to be all right. I'm going to be able to deal with it. But take authority over it right now and break it. Break that curse. Break that addiction. Break that fear. Break that anxiety. Break whatever it is that's got you bound. And I don't know what's going on out there at all. We talked about surrender. Here it is, your opportunity to surrender. Whatever it is. So, can you do that this morning? Listen, let me put it this way. Do you want to do that this morning? If you want to stay bound up in all that junk, that's up to you. But God is here this morning. His spirit is here. The music is here. The scenario is here. The opportunity is here. I think we need to take avail, uh, avail ourselves of it, take advantage of it. So I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. But I want you individually, individually, speak the name of Jesus over your situation right now. Just say it. Say, Jesus. Jesus, you know my need. You know my fear. You know my anxiety. You know my doubt and worry and all of that. Over my situation for freedom to be set free this morning, I speak the name of Jesus over my life. And I am healed. I am saved. I am delivered. I am free from all of that. Say, I am free. In the name of Jesus, I am free. Sing it again, girl. <laughs> Woo! Because your name is your name is healing. Your name is life. And break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. Your name is Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the streets. 
Just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. starts to break. Jesus Christ. 
shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. good to sit down and listen to a message. And, but I, and, well, I, I really believe that God is still moving and still working. And I don't, I don't want to cut this off just because we had some people come to the altar. We're going to sing this song again. I, I, I want you that if you need prayer, if you need prayer this morning, sing it again and be obedient to the Holy Spirit let's just see this to its conclusion because I really believe that God is here to set people free and to minister to your specific need this morning whatever that might be so we're going to sing and you respond Respond to the Holy Spirit. I just want to speak the name of Is there anybody here this morning has not invited Jesus Christ into your life? You don't know him as Lord and as Savior. This service is for you. I don't know who you are. Maybe nobody. God can do anything in your life. 
So that extension has been given again. As they sing it, you come. You come if you have a need this morning. Maybe you've, maybe you've not, you're not walking the way you need to walk with God. Maybe your relationship with God is not what it needs to be. Knowing, you know that it's not what it needs to be. This altar call is also for you. A time to rededicate your life. Time to accept the Lord, to start walking with him in the fullness of your heart. This is for you. Okay, I'm done. Sandy? That's you. <laughs> You've been wounded. You're hurt. You still feel the knife, the hurt, disappointment. Time to set it free. That's you. Come on. There's all kinds of things that we've been talking about this morning. Let's do it. Come on, Michael. Jesus 
in the darkness over every enemy. And Jesus, for my family, I speak the holy name of Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. And Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. Cause your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Cause your name is power. Your name is healing, your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus.
morning in a, uh, not a typical church service. You know, I look at this cross and I think of Jesus on it, and I look at the, the layout of it, but sometimes it looks more like a cross of healing, like a hospital. And sometimes we have to flesh these things out. Sometimes it's good not to do the thing we typically do because we realize that so many December 7th, eight years ago. That day is clear and vivid, and maybe that day was for you today, and if that was your day, then stay after and speak to one of the elders, and let us walk you through what that looks like, because for eight years, my life has been drastically different. The generational curse was broken with me. My wife, my future child, now gets to experience full life, and we want that for you. But there are <laughs> three times this morning now, three times this morning now, I've heard from different parts of, uh, of the altar up here, generation, generational curses. So obviously there's something in the spirit going on right now that deals with these generational curses. There's something going on th three times, three times just from various different points because uh, I've just been listening. I've just been listening and seeing what's been going on around the altar and, and watching and so there is definitely something going on right now. God is trying to speak to us about something on a generational level. On a generational level. That there, there, there are things within our families that we, some of us don't even have a clue. Going back generations, we don't know what sin has been going on. You know, one, two, three, four generations back. We don't have a clue what's lingering in that line. Because things stay. Things stay within a generational line because <laughs> what well, we're trying—I don't know how to how to how to. We know because of the covenant that we read about in the Old Testament that things are passed through seed. Let's just put it that way. So as time goes on, these things remain within the family line. So there's something going on. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know what God's trying to tell us. But there's, he, there, there's a, and I hate to say this because it sounds so cliche. I hate to say anything that sounds religious or cliche, but there's an open heaven right now. And God is dealing with generational issues. God is dealing with generational issues. There is deliverance that is coming. There is deliverance that is going to take place within the family. It's not going to just affect you, but it's going to affect your children, your children's children. So I want you just to be aware of that as you're going about your life this week. Keep it at the forefront of your mind. When you pray, pray about your family. Pray about what's taking place. And just begin to, uh, to seek forgiveness for whatever's taken place in the past. It's not something that, that you did. It's not something that you... But break it. Because the authority lies within us. Because of the spoken... It's what I was talking to, to Sandy this morning. We don't have any authority on our own. It's the spoken word of God. That's where the authority lies. Amen. So just keep it for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. Father God, we just come before you this morning again in the name of your son Jesus, in the name of your spoken word, Father. The word that you spoke everything into existence, Father. That 
is the word. That's the authority that we come in right now, the authority of your word, Father. And we just take control over our families right here, right now. We speak the word of God over our families. We speak the word of God over every husband, over every wife, over every son, over every daughter, over every grandchild, over every unborn child, Father God. We speak your word over. We declare your word over, Father. We speak Jesus. We speak Jesus over our families, Father, right now. And in the name of that word, in the name of your son, in the name and the authority that comes to us through your word, right now we break. We break the curse. We cut ties with the past. It's a brand new start right here, right now. It's a clean, fresh start right here. Whatever happened in the past doesn't exist anymore. And we declare right now that we will look forward and not behind. We will strive to, to, to take your word and spread it through our family and spread it through our neighborhoods, Father God. We will walk in this authority with our heads held high. We will not be intimidated. We will not be sitting to, coward, uh, to, to be cowards, Father God. We declare this and we speak it right now. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you seal it right now. We speak. This cannot be stolen. So long as we keep our eyes on you, Father, this cannot be stolen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of like this. <laughs> This feels pretty good, actually. Thank you. This feels good. You know what? That's like the first step of revival. It's like the first step, letting God have his way. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> but we got to go home. <laughs> we don't have to. <laughs> Orchestra, you want to play? Keep playing. <laughs> yeah. Karen and uh, Robert played that whole thing without stopping. Thank you for those that felt the freedom to come forward this morning and be prayed for, have curses broken, generational stuff, and all the junk that enemy wants to put on us. And you've got to know it's the enemy to pull you down. My message was, I want you. Part two. <laughs> and you know what? I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> But I can't do it next week because we're doing a special service for our picnic. But we'll do it the first Sunday of um, September. All right. So get ready. I want you. I want you. I'm going to come knocking at your door. <laughs> Linda, for the picnic. Go ahead. Will you stand outside with the clipboard again this morning? Thank you. All right, if you're ready, let's be dismissed. <laughs> and let's stand to our feet. Yeah. Uh, before we pray the prayer blessing, let's just shout the name of Jesus one time, all right? One, two. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wanted to say one, two, three. Let's do it again so I can get involved. One, two, three. Jesus. Thank you. Lord, may the Lord bless and keep you. Oh, God, may the Lord bless and keep them. 
Oh, God, cause your face to shine upon them this week and be gracious to them. And, Lord, lift up your very presence, your countenance upon them. And may each person this week walk in your peace. And may your grace and your mercy that's renewed every single morning walk with them for the rest of their life here on this earth. Bless them, O oh God, we pray. Every family, every individual that's represented here this morning in Jesus' name. If you receive that, say Jesus! Jesus. Woo!